I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I think we expected something to go down today. Um, I just didn't think it would be that mad. It seemed like there was a point where everyone involved, where everyone at the table was just getting involved with what was going on. Bro, he has my meat in his mouth so bad. He tried every way and any way possible to get to Dean. He, as you can see, he had goosebumps up there. Then he tried to try to the humble approach. That ain't him. Boy, you know that ain't you, the humble approach. You a fucking arrogant ass little privileged ass, little groupie. But then when you get up in there with, a, with another opponent after I humbled your ass and dropped you, put you to sleep, now you want to act all humble. Oh, may the best man win. Man, fuck that. Man, niggas ain't trying to hear that. You're a little groupie. You've been having my name in your mouth since day one. You've been still talking on my name. after Even after the fight, this nigga came up to me. I even got the video, bro. He came up to me and said, Oh, Dean, you were way better than I thought. You kept getting up. You showed a fucking true champ and you hit hard as fuck. da 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 Come on, Brad. Now you want to go on Twitter saying, oh, Dean the Great's a bitch. Oh, Dean the Great don't hit hard. Oh, Dean the Great. Oh, Dean the Great. Oh, Dean, Dean, Dean. Oh, God damn, man. You want my dick so much? Come suck this thing. <laughs> you dig? Is this the sort of thing you can expect because you've got that belt? Obviously, you're not fighting with right. We know that. But right. is this the sort of thing you can expect? You've got the belt. So for people at all angles are going to be coming for you now. Right. I mean, yeah, that's what, that's what it is. They, they say new levels, new devils. You dig what I'm saying? And it's like... He a devil that I already dealt with and got above on, and he's still gonna keep kind of trying to come at me, bro. You dig? But I'm gonna keep prospering, and I'm gonna keep growing, and I'm gonna keep shitting on my haters, on my mom. What about what you got to deal with on Saturday night? Because obviously I know you're a man who's gonna be focused for that. Well, I suppose we'll talk about the Dean thing once the job's been done on Saturday. Um, but what about the job you've got to do on Saturday? Because there's still stuff to be done. Right, right, right. Still gotta handle business as always. You dig what I'm saying? Saturday night I'm going there and do what I do, do what Diamonds do under them lights, which is shine. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna go in there, show my talent, show my skills, play with them a little bit, play with my food a little bit. Or if I want to get them up out of there, I'm getting bored. I'm gonna knock them out. I'm my mom and them. I mean, I've never sensed there would be anything but confidence from you. <laughs> but just from kind of what I'm hearing from the pundits and experts in this industry, it seems like your technical ability, the power you hold, people are starting to rate you highly now. Is there a bit of a different feeling about Dean the Great now? Um, yeah, definitely, bro. I've been working hard for this, man, even with just my wrestling, my ju my uh, judo, just all the sports that I play, football, everything I've always put the work in. You think I'm saying? I'm always manifested doing what I do. I didn't go to college. I took that risk of not going to college. I took that risk of not do doing the amateur routes and doing the YouTube street boxing and shit like that. And then look at where it got me, bro. You dig? So I'm just blessed, man. I'm doing that for everything. Have you got any cheese left? Uh, oh, no. Nah. Well, he got the rest in his mouth. He got the rest of it in his mouth. So, I was waiting for a cheese giveaway. <laughs> Polly, Polly got one smack of one slice of cheese, and Willie got the rest of the four, five slices I put in his mouth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just one more thing, Dean. Um, thanks for giving me your time, of course. Why does that belt stay with you on Saturday night? Because it's mine, and I'm the motherfucking champ. And I'm going to show motherfuckers why I'm being the great, bro. I'm a mom and them. You dig what I'm saying? I'm going to show, show these people why you don't deserve to be in the ring with me, bro. Shout out to him for taking the fight. Fair play, you dig. But you got to go to bed. You got to go to bed, my boy. I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.